really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's going to blow your mind. All, all of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, um, the pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. But these can all, can all be sold with an implantable neural link. This is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> this is our little device. Uh, it is, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. All you can see afterwards is that there's a tiny scar, and if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a neural link right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. So, uh, and it, it's also got all, all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, r related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. It's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. Um, yeah, maybe that's not a great analogy. Um, anyway, so it's also inductively charged. So um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So in terms of getting a link, essentially uh, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, then the robot inserts the electrodes, uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we basically close that up with actually super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed. So this is our surgical robot, and we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing the, the skull, inserting the electrodes, placing the device, um, and then um, closing things up. So does it actually work? Uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I call it like the, the, the three little pigs demo. Well, I'll walk right over and show you. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce, uh, and she does not have an implant. <laughs> Obviously healthy and happy. So here's Dorothy, um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, an, a very important thing to uh, demonstrate is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link, and then you decide you don't want it, or you want to get an upgrade, and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterward? <laughs> Man, Gertrude, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, the beauty of live demos. This is real live demo. All right, here we go, great, okay. Great. <laughs> this, is a, this is a high energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so, what you're the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So, this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So, whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out. Uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. And we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple neural links implanted. Um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. And, and in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, when we have um, say um, one of our pigs on a treadmill, <laughs> pig on a treadmill. <laughs> um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons. We're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body. Now, in terms of, of writing to the brain or stim stimulating neurons, so you can see them lighting up different brain regions. Uh, and then by carefully controlling the electric field, you can actually have one electrode uh, influence possibly 1,000 or 10,000 neurons. And we're making good progress towards clinical studies. Um, I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, uh, thanks to the hard work of the Neuralink team.
uh, we will make this uh, as safe as possible. Um, you know, just as with, with Tesla, while it is legally possible to ship a one-star car, at Tesla, we, the only cars we make are five stars in, in every category. Uh, so uh, we, we actually maximize safety and we'll take the same approach here at Neuralink. So we'll do live Q&A. Uh, so bring in a bunch of people from the Neuralink team. Will you be able to save and replay memories in the future? Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you will be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode, um, but, uh, well, I guess it's pretty good at predicting. Over time, we could actually give somebody supervision, uh, like you could have, like, uh, ultraviolet or infrared uh, or C and radar and actually have uh, superhuman vision. Can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's a definite 100%. Carlos, that is the answer. With, with this implant, you can actually uh, think, just, just by thinking, you can output um, words, and you can, you can type, and you can control a computer, control a phone, and, uh, which is pretty, pretty wild. Any estimate of how much it will cost at launch and what price it will reduce to over time? Well, I, I think at, at launch, it's probably going to be... It, it, I, I would say that's not really representative because um, at first I think it's, it's going to be you know, quite expensive, but that price will very rapidly drop. Um, and I think over time we want to get the, the cost um, obviously down as low as possible. Um, but I think um, I inclusive of the automated surgery, I think we want to get the, 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 the price down to a few thousand dollars. Thank you very much.